The Duke of Sussex is facing criticism for his use of private jets following his calls for action on climate change. Prince Harry traveled to Amsterdam on Monday night to launch Travelist, a new eco-travel project aiming to curb the impact tourists have on the countries they visit and the local communities. The positive aspects of the project, in partnership with some of the world's biggest travel companies, have been overshadowed by critics who claim the Duke's words on the environment don't match his and his wife's actions. Good Morning Britain presenter Piers Morgan, said, Prince Harry preaching about the environment again. He can do this, or be a constant private jet setting celebrity. Not both. In a poll carried out between September 3rd at 12 p.m. and September 4th at 2 p.m. on 27,181 people, an astonishing 78%, 21,181 people, of voters answered the question should Prince Harry be lecturing Britons on climate change with a no. Just 16%, 4,503 people, of voters chose the option yes, he has to keep his family safe and 5%, 1,497 people, answered don't know. One Twitter user claimed yesterday, ahead of the launch of Travelist, Prince Harry has lost his credibility following the private jet row. They said, does anyone care what the celebrity prince says now? He had lost his credibility. Many express.co.uk voters agreed with the statement, with one urging Harry to practice what you preach. Others dismissed the royal's claim he balances out his emissions by donating to renewable energy incentives and planting trees, saying carbon offsetting is not the solution to the problem. One of the voters said, carbon offsetting? The new way for the rich, superstars, supermodels and politicians to carry on doing exactly what they have always done but salve their consciences by claiming I offset my emissions than having the gall to lecture the rest of us not to do what they are doing. Another wrote, offsetting CO2 is just hypocrisy, rich people trying to make excuses for their excess. And a third argued against Prince Harry's second argument justifying his use of private jets, safety for his family. They said, commercial flights are proven to be safer than private. I wish we could go six months without seeing anything in the media about the pair of them. During the launch of Travelist, Harry touched upon the private jet row only briefly, saying, these human-caused challenges often need a giant system shift to make a significant enough impact. And that is what this partnership is here to try and do. But just because it is such a massive undertaking, doesn't mean we can't all play our part. Sometimes the scale of the conservation crisis feels overwhelming and that individual actions can't make a difference. I've certainly felt that, but I've learned that we cannot dismiss the idea of trying to do something, just because we can't do everything. We can all do better. And while no one is perfect, we are all responsible for our own individual impact. The question is what we do to balance it out. Following the launch, the prince was quizzed about his decision to use private jets to go on holidays with Meghan and his son Archie. Harry said he uses commercial flights 99% of the time but does make other arrangements at times to ensure that my family are safe and that he has always offset his CO2 impact. An aide later said the 99% figure should not be taken literally as it is a figure of speech used by the prince. 